Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I'll be talking about the great storm event that just started on Facebook and web. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so here we are in game. The great storm event is live. We have some bundles, right? So Great Storm Treasures, they have 15,000 Storm Coins. Everyone in your guild gets 500. There's also another one where you, you get 40k and everyone in your guild gets 1, 90 and 2, 250 and 5. So a couple bundles, interesting. Um, that is new. We did not have that last time we had this event. Let's check out the Great Storm event here so commanding the forces of nature the evil leader of the chaos hordes has summoned the great storm that leaves nothing in its wake what's her true purpose no one knows that yet but the storm is coming behold its power so here we have the long storm and you get three action points daily for logging in that means you can make three moves per day uh, just off of these logins lord of the storm all about having VIP and each one up to level seven grants you one action point. Vanquisher of Chaos, all about purchasing emeralds. And there is a special frame here that is new. I like that. Um, well, that's a lot of emeralds, but I like the fact that there's a new frame. Uh, Nature's Might, here you spend emeralds. You get action points as well as storm coins. They wanted to spend 90K. That's a lot of emeralds. Uh, continuous Battles. So capturing five battle locations in the Great Storm will net you 250 Storm Coins. And it looks like the more places you capture, if you capture 45, you get all the way up to 2,000 Storm Coins and everything below it. Storm and Stress, Spending Energy. Oh, looks like you get some Action Points and Storm Coins. And the more energy you use, the more you get. Makes sense. Tree of Life Gift, all about using the Pet Summoning couple of times are 80. That is a lot of openings. Wow. Okay. I did not prepare for that, but there's 80. A uh, reward for courage, all about opening chests in the sanctuary adventures. So this is the group adventures, right? This is not your individual adventures. And so 12 chests makes sense. That means three days of getting four, four chests. So that is how you can complete all of this. Let's take a look real quickly at the map itself. So let's go ahead and skip through this, right? We have a little backstory and it looks like there are 49 spots if that is accurate. So win battles and increase storm resistance, right? We knew about that before. Find the hidden chests, destroy towers to weaken the boss, defeat the boss, get storm coins and buy rare goods in the great storm shop. Okay, cool. So as we can see, there are going to be probably 49 spots. We're starting at one. Um, and let's see, does it say how many coins we get per win, if that's how it works? Not seeing anything that says that. Let's see. Nope, that was the rules. Log, nothing there. Merchant, here's the merchant. So we have the Storm Legacy box contains Chaos Particles, Pet Potions, and other unexpected prizes. We also have Pet Soul Chests. And we have a bunch of other items for your pets that you can use your Storm Coins on. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right, so that basically looks to be the event. I'm going to go ahead and start this real quick since... I'm already here, Might, may as well, right? Let's go ahead and collect some action points. And my plan is to eventually get all of them anyway, so I'm gonna to try to get all 49. So let's see if we can, how far we can go with 15. Oh. So I like to go all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and go this way, just because. So let's go ahead and put in Kark. It's my normal guy, and then we have Faceless with Sebastian. Then I could put Nebula in there. Yeah, I guess we'll use Nebula. And we'll just go for it. So let's go ahead and test this out real quick. 
I don't think I actually need to battle the whole thing. I think I can skip. Let's see. Pause, skip battle. And we get 130 storm coins for this one. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one. Eventually. So that's one. We got 130, and then we got five. So it looks like just like last time, we get five storm resistance per defeat, right? So per enemy that we defeat. So let's go ahead and fight this one now. I'm probably going to skip again. But again, the nice thing is that, again, this one is based off of your team or based off your power level, not necessarily your team level. So that should help a lot of people. It looks like 170 storm coins. So we may get more coins per victory potentially. Um, and if that's the case, that's pretty cool as well. We're going to keep going here. We got 13 more of these guys to use. May as well do it now. We got 300 storm coins so far. Let's go ahead and skip that one. So we got a hidden chest. And find the chest hidden within the great storm to open it and claim the reward. It says it can contain from 4,000 to 6,000 of these storm coins. Okay, that's pretty cool. So instead of the instead of the pet soulstone chest that were in there, now we get the option of how to use those coins. So that's interesting. That's new. Different from last time. We're continuing around the outer layer here. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and skip. 120, okay. So maybe we get a, a variation in coins. Not sure exactly how that works. Because we got 120 is the lowest we've gotten so far. The highest we've gotten so far is 170. Let's go ahead and skip this battle as well. Ooh, my Astaroth got taken out. We got 100 Storm Coins. So 100 is the new low. Got a buff here. 20% increases armor, magic defense. Well, I'm big on offense, so let's go ahead and pick that buff up. And let's keep going around. And here's one of the towers. So there are three towers uh, protecting the boss. This is one of them. And we're going to go ahead and try to take it down. Hmm. I like the fact that the team power is not necessarily greater than the team of my own. Of course, power doesn't mean everything, but couldn't hurt to have a little more power, right? So I'm going to go ahead and skip this battle also. 130 is the number of storm coins I got here. And because it's a beacon, they're going to make a big show out of it. You defeated one beacon. Nice job. And we have a couple more moves here, so eight more. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. This one looks like a lot easier of a matchup. So let's go ahead and skip this. Keep moving. 100 more. So it looks like 100 is the new low. And there are a lot of backstory, which is cool, I guess, if you like backstory. I personally am either way on it. But okay, so here we go. Beating this guy right here, number 45. Hopefully we can do it in one shot. Let's go ahead and skip. Doesn't look like there's any big bosses on this, this team. So it should be okay. We got a, another chest. Awesome. So let's keep going here. Let's keep going. So we got two chests in the outer layer. I think last time we got three or four. So let's see how that plays out. 160, that's a good amount of storm coins there. Let's see, okay. Nothing too special there in terms of bosses either. Should be okay. I think we might be able to get close to doing this entire outer rung. Let's see, skip battle. It's nice that they have the skip battle because watching some of these might be a while. 
uh, which to me would probably be a little bit annoying. I remember last time the boss was very difficult to beat and it took me, I think, three tries. I know some people can do it with one, but my team wasn't built for the kind of matchup that they had. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, 180, that is, the, that is the best one that we've gotten so far. The most storm coins. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Skip battle. Ooh, that was a close one, 160. That was much closer than I expected. Oh, uh, we should be okay though, still. There we go, no longer buffering. Skip that battle. We got another chest. So that's three chests that we've picked up. Pretty cool. We got this last one for the outer ring. And with that, we'll skip the battle as well. Got 150, nice. Very good. And now we're technically out of action points. Let's see if we can pick up any other ones just from what we did there, continuous battles. So we can pick up some additional storm coins, but it doesn't look like we can pick up any action points just yet. Uh, we would have to do a couple of other things to do that. But uh, I think you guys get the point. Um, and the last thing that I just real quickly wanted to check was the merchant so here i have three of these guys what would i need to do to get an average aggregate so it looks like each one of these had about five thousand um in terms of value when we did them last time so four thousand to six thousand makes sense for these guys um, because five thousand is basically what we got last time so it'll be interesting to see so this one contains twenty thousand um and that should is that consistent with what we got before because we got 20, was it 20, 20? Yeah, we got 20 of these pet soul chests. So we got 20 of these, so 20,000 makes sense. So now we just get to basically choose what rewards we get. And then instead of getting those spot rewards, now we're getting these coins so we can pick what we want. So that is essentially what we have so far for this event. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in Dominion.